it's a striper. Well, if it wouldn't be have been raining so hard, I could put together a pretty decent little smallmouth video here, but <clears throat> I had to turn the GoPro off for a while because it was raining so hard and I don't have the waterproof cover, but just another nice one. Got four or five like that now, right on the same spot, little rocky outcropping here that breaks the current. That one spit up floated away, spit up a big shad packing it on, but got it on this Kitek. Should go look for big stripers, but these smallmouth are fun too. So I seem to have to be drifting down current, casting parallel. That way the lure's not swinging in the current, it's just coming straight across. I'm gonna run back up and make another drift down. They are stacked in here. And they're all pretty nice. First, you can select up a little bit by throwing a bigger swim bait like that, but it's all really nice fish. I wish it wasn't raining so hard, I could keep the camera going. Getting a little smaller, but that's still not a bad one. Chunky. And the two on the landing. Downsize just a little bit. A little bit smaller Kai Tech. I think this is a 3.8. Just a little bit lighter head, but I still have 25 pound leader. <laughs> I'm fishing for fishing for stripers here, but I'll take smallmouth. I have to cover the camera up again here. And I had a tough time this morning. A couple about two to three pound bass. Lots of uh, bass busting on the shorelines, busting on tiny shad. Uh, ended up downsizing, downsizing, and getting a few bites on a little underspin. Uh, underspin jig with a little, um, what was it? Underspin jig.
go. I think it's a white bass. Doesn't feel very big. Huge school of these things down here right now. I don't know how many I'm going to want to catch, but maybe a few. Smaller one. action. I'll take a little of that right now. I'm going to go hog hunting later, but catch a few of these maybe. Look at this little tailspin. This is a jackal Diraku. Had decent luck on it uh, last year when I was here on Chickamauga. Caught some bass and some spotted bass on it. Still haven't caught a Chickamauga smallmouth, so I'm kind of that's kind of on my list. I'd like to catch a big largemouth, of course, but find figure out the smallmouth and uh, uh, maybe even get a mean mouth hybrid between a uh, largemouth and a smallmouth. They call it a mean mouth. Never caught one of those either, so. You never know out here. Just kind of yo yo on this. I'm in about 26 feet of water. Just cast it out, let it sink to the bottom. Wait till the line goes slack. And I'm yo yoing it. Just kind of a lift and drop. I don't want to go too, too fast of a lift, just kind of a pull, pause basically. Full pause. They'll smack it on the drop, so you want to be a little bit taut when you are letting it fall, or watch your line, or both. Sometimes you just feel that tick as it's dropping, or sometimes when you go to pull it, the weight's gone and they came up at you. I saw that last one hit, it just kind of. The weight of the bait just disappeared on me. If I can get a couple more of these, then I'm going to swing around. I thought I marked some better marks. Uh, there's a long rocky point that comes out here. And there's no shoreline point, which I really like because I think uh, everyone's beating the bank. So if you find a point that comes out, I missed one. If you find a point that comes out, but there's no evidence of it on the shoreline. To me, that's huge. That tells me three quarters of the people drive right by it and don't fish it. Maybe they fish the bank, but sliding out on the end of a point that you can't uh, see is not uh, something most people do. These offshore breaks and points. Uh, have to have some fish on them. The fish up in the coves are pushing tiny, tiny uh, shad up onto the bank, but the shad are so tiny that uh, having to downsize, try to umbrella rig, that didn't work. Uh, had to downsize to a little underspin with a little flap tail on it. Rage tail, I guess it is. A white rage tail on a little underspin is how I got my bites this morning. A couple largemouth, nothing big, two to three pounds. Just trying to find something offshore here. It's afternoon and uh, I'll get back in shallow again when, uh, when the sun gets a little lower again. Busy out here on Chickamauga. Campgrounds are full, boats everywhere. Uh, of course, we did just have an Elite Series tournament here. And uh, just missed one. 
but this is the last uh, forecasted nice nice weather before it gets a little cooler here cold nights again coming so I think everyone's trying to get their outside stuff done there's one feels good just feels good to have some action Digging, 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 digging. This is a medium heavy rod, so it's not quite light enough for white bass, but they're not the target species here anyway, so a little better than the last one. Not like the first two that uh, bit without the camera on. Actually, that's a good one. for that one. That little jackal derricou right in the corner of the mouth. These hooks are crazy sharp. Fun fish, really. I mean, I don't need to catch a hundred of them, but uh, when the largemouth are slow, I'll take it. It's kind of a cool hit where they just jump on it as it's falling. Busy, busy. It's nice and calm. The wind's not bad, but... Uh, Boat's been rocking around pretty good just for boat wakes all day. Gives you kind of an I gives me an idea of what it might be like out here in the summertime. I've only fished out here in the winter and uh, it's pretty quiet. The screen is just loaded with with these things. If I could catch a couple more, it's it's tempting to just keep to, to stay on this because um, there could just as easily be some spotted bass or largemouth mixed in or smallmouth. Whatever these things are eating, shad I assume. Could have a big largemouth on this bait too. Missed one. It'd be much better to have a light rod. See a lot of bass boats out today, and I went in to reserve a campsite talked to a few of these guys and everyone was at either zero fish or one fish. I thought I was doing bad. I only caught two this morning. But uh, everyone's beating the bank, which is really tempting to do, really easy to stick with because there's bass up pushing tiny, tiny shad up against the banks uh, in all the coves. Uh, it's really cool to see, exciting to cast at, but uh, really hard to get a bite. Really hard to get a bite when they, each time a, a fish blows up, uh, it's chasing and blowing up on a dozens, if not hundreds, of these tiny shad. So the odds of them hitting mine are not that great. Sometimes something that stands out is better, but Try to chatter bait, a spinner bait, a Alabama rig, three hook Alabama rig. Tried rattle baits, tried uh, fluke, unweighted. Thought that would work for sure. It's got one bite on it, but there's a good bite. Hammered it. Ooh, I don't think this is a white bass. Well, maybe it is. Give me a good tussle. 
be a hook this funny. Oh no, large mouth. Sweet. Large mouth in deeper water. No, it was right up on top of 10 feet. I think I've got more hooks. Okay, that's nine, 18 incher. I'll take it. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. Eventually I need a bigger one though. <laughs> I think I'm onto something here. yellow bass. Lots of these little guys in here. Sticking with it though because as I was reeling one of these in a few minutes ago uh, there was a bat a largemouth following it up right behind it. I guess I don't know if it was trying to eat it or trying to eat what was in its mouth but it was pretty cool to see. So stick with it here. Get shad galore here. You can see what the bass are feeding on, having to downsize. You can see my lure here's got shad impaled on it, trying to match the hatch here with a little underspin. Anyway. mouth. First cast with the spinnerbait. <laughs> First cast with the spinnerbait. And why not? They're chasing small shad, two small willow leaves. It's pretty good in the water really. Let's see if there's any more here. I drill a flat here. Spotted bass. I'm not an expert. Looks like it could be a spotted bass. Cranking some rocks here on a little isolated rock pile. You can see the rocks on the shore. Well, they're further out as well, so top out about eight feet cranking over to the top here 
just lost a good one and then caught that uh, that little spot but current washing over some rocks here and keep out of here Bigger one. Which one about? Three times. Four times. 